Yahweh Heavenly Father, we pray that you guide, heal, and touch in Yeshua's precious name. Amen. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 1, and the word Ezekiel, when you take it back into the, the Hebrew, means my God is El, or El strengthens, or which is to say God gives us strength. And he does give us strength. And this book of Ezekiel took place about 484 BC. And he was sent during the captivity, Ezekiel, and his reign will last 21 years. That's three times seven, which is spiritual completeness. And God himself in this book of Ezekiel came and even brought the very altar himself with him, which is pretty amazing if you really think about it and he did this so we wouldn't have to wonder and we can hear the truth directly from him so with that in mind we'll go ahead and start this book of Ezekiel and Start in chapter 1, verse 1, and it reads, Now it came to pass in the thirteenth year, in the fourth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I was among the captives by the river of Chabar, and Chabar meaning length of time, that the heavens were opened, and I saw visions of God. I mean, he saw him directly. In the fifth day of the month, which was the fifth year, of King Jehoiakim's captivity, and this is Jeconiah. The word of the Lord came expressingly or especially unto Ezekiel, the priest, the son of Buzai, in the land of the Chaldeans, by the river Chabar. And the hand of the Lord was there upon him, I mean, in person. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud, and a fire enfolding itself, and a brightness was about it. And out of the mist thereof, as the color of amber. And when you take this color of amber back into the Hebrew, it means highly polished bronze. Out of the mist of the fire. And he saw a vehicle is what this verse is saying. It was highly polished bronze. In other words, the Shekinah glory. Also, out of the mist thereof, 
came the likeliness of four creatures. And this was their appearance. They had the likeliness of a man. They looked like a man. And these creatures are the Zoe and the Zoom, the same as you will find in the New Testament. They are cherubs that guard the altar of God. Verse 6. And everyone had four faces, each one of these four. And every one had four wings. Now, Ezekiel seen this vehicle flying, so he stated it had wings. You have to think this is back in 484 BC, which at that time there was no aircraft or anything like that that existed. So Ezekiel did his best describing, and I think he did a wonderful job at, at describing And their feet were straight feet. And the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot. And they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. Like this was their landing gear. And they had the hands of a man under their wings on their four sides and they four had their faces and their wings their wings were joined one to another in other words formation they turned not when they went they went every one straight forward And in other words, they had no head to see. They were in perfect formation. And, you know, when you, when you ride a, a horse or a donkey, wherever you turn them, they go. But these had no head. They didn't have to look where they went. They were a perfect circle or formation. Verse 10. As for the likeliness of their faces, they four had the face of a man and the face of a lion on the right side, and they four had the face of an ox or Ephraim on the left side they four also had the face of an eagle and what this verse is saying here is um, if you know anything about Israel and the formation of the nation Israel to the north is Dan or the eagle to the east is the lion of Judah to the south is the tribe of Reuben and to the west is the ox or Ephraim and if you want biblical proof of this you can find it in Numbers chapter 2 verse 10 so, in other words, God is saying, I came to talk to my people, whom shall ever will. Verse 11. Thus were their faces, and their wings were stretched upward. Two wings of every one were joined one to another. 
and two covered their bodies. They were enfolded. And they went, everyone straight forward, in formation. Whether the spirit was to go, they went. And they turned not when they went. They didn't look. As for the likeliness of the living creatures, the four, their appearance was like burning coals of fire and like the appearance of lamps. It went up and down among the living creatures and the fire was bright and out of the fire went forth lightning. This was the presence of God. And the living creatures ran and returned as the appearance of a flashing light. They were quick. Now, as I beheld the living creatures, behold, one wheel upon the earth by the living creatures with his four faces. One came to earth, in other words. The appearance of the wheels and their work was like unto the color of beryl or sapphire, and they had one likeliness, and their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. These wheels were flying, in other words, And to him, it's, it's, it's flying. So this is what he's describing it as Ezekiel. Verse 17. When they went, they went upon their four sides. And they turned not when they went. As for their rings, the outer rings, they were so high that they were dreadful. And their rings were full of eyes round about them for. In other words, they were like windows in them. And when the living creatures went, the wheels went by them. And when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up. Whithersoever the spirit was to go, they went. Thither was their spirit to go. And the wheels were lifted up over against them for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels it moved with them in other words when those went these went and when those stood these stood and when those were lifted up from the earth the wheels were lifted up over against them for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels and Ezekiel is declaring it and what he's talking about here is perfect formation everything going smoothly right to the detail because God is in control and when the spirit moved, it's if looking into to a window, they were in perfect formation or disciplined in perfect formation. And the likeliness of the ferment upon the heads of the living creature 
was as the color of the terrible crystal. And in other words, this word terrible should be translated back into the Hebrew as reverence or beautiful. It was awesome to look at. Stretch forth over their heads above. The presence of God was there, in other words. And under the firmament, there were wings straight or leveled, the one toward the other. Everyone had two, which covered on this side, and everyone had two, which covered on that side their bodies. And when they went, I heard the noise of their wings, like the noise of great waters, as the voice of the Almighty, the voice of speech, as the noise of an host. When they stood, they let down their wings. This is their landing gear, their, their settling, they settled. And there was a voice from the firmament that was over their heads when they stood and had let down their wings, they had landed. And above the firmament that was over their heads was the likeliness of a throne as the appearance of a sapphire stone. And upon the likeliness of the throne was the likeliness as the appearance of a man above it. This was our father. He came himself. And I saw as the color of amber, as the appearance of fire, round about within, within it, from the appearance of his lions even upward, and from the appearance of his lions even downward, I saw as it were the appearance of fire, and it had brightness round about. This is the Shekinah glory. And, and, and when you seen the sun, you seen the Father, as written in Revelation 1, verses 15 and 16. The appearance of Christ is the same thing, described the same, that glory. Verse 28 to complete the chapter. As the appearance of the bow, and this is a prison of light, about like a rainbow the 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 prison of light about a rainbow that is in the cloud in the day of rain so was the appearance of the brightness around about this was the appearance of the likeliness of the glory of the lord and i saw it I fell upon my face, and I heard a voice of one that spank. I mean, it floored him. And, and God doesn't talk to anyone on their face, but it's understandable. God's presence will floor you. But he's about to say, get back up to Ezekiel. Chapter 2 And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me, and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man, 
I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that hath rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me, even until this very day, until this day. For they are imprudent children and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God. And they, whether they will hear or whether, whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house. In other words, a bunch of rebels. Yet shall know that there hath been a prophet among them. And this prophet is Ezekiel. And thou, son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words. Thou bearers and thorns be with thee, and thou dostest dwell among scorpions. Be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. In other words, he's telling them, you teach my word just like it is and make no apologies. Verse 7, and thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. For they are most rebellious. And he is saying to speak his words, not somebody else's, not what you feel out of your heart, but his words, the word of the Lord, nothing more and nothing less. But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. Open thy mouth and eat what I give thee. In other words, you absorb it. And when I looked, Ezekiel speaking, behold, and hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein. There was a scroll there, the word of God, and he spread it before me, and it was written within and without completeness, in other words, and there was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe. And chapter 3, the thought continues. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest. Eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. And this um, verse here, the house of Israel, this is um, who he was sent to speak to at the time because the house of Israel and the house of Judah were split at this time. And the ten tribes of Israel went north at this time and we'll go ahead and continue in verse 2 so I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll and 
Father will help with understanding if you work at it. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And the word is so sweet. And he said unto me, Son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel, and speak with my words unto them. He repeats it again for emphasis. For thou art not sent to a people of strange speech and of an hard language, but to the house of Israel. In other words, they speak the same language as you. Not to many people of a strange speech and of an hard language, whose words thou cannot canst not understand. Surely, had I sent thee to them, they would have hearkened unto thee. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are imprudent and hard-hearted. And we're going to go ahead and stop here and pick it up again.